Imagine waking up one day and being a billionaire. What would you do with a billion dollars? Would you buy a huge mansion, a yacht, or a fancy sports car? Or would you buy the dumbest things a billionaire can own? You can get anything your heart desires. That amount of money could change somebody's life forever. You could start a charity, build a school, and buy every single member of your family their very own house. But sometimes, billionaires buy the dumbest things you can't even use in everyday life. When you have that much money, you're bound to own the dumbest things a billionaire could buy. On the news and on television, we watch rich people spend their money on all sorts of luxuries we could never afford, just because they can. The richest people in the world are billionaires who own the dumbest things. What are the dumbest things billionaires own? Let's find out. Here are the 10 dumbest things billionaires own. Number 10. A haircut. Everybody likes to look their best. But this billionaire takes the cake. The Sultan of Brunei likes to live in luxury, and there is no doubt about that. This man is worth an estimated $20 billion and in 2009 spent $24,000 to get his hair cut. This was during the swine flu pandemic, and since he was afraid to catch it, he decided to fly out his favorite hairstylist from thousands of miles away. The Sultan paid to have his hairdresser flown out from London on a private jet all the way to Brunei just for a trim. The hairdresser typically charges only $30 for a regular haircut, but the Sultan is one of the richest men in the world and pulled out all the stops for the talented barber to travel in style. The flight alone was $9,000, and with food, lodging, and private drivers, it added up fast. The Sultan always treats his hairdresser with the utmost respect, and for that amount of cash, he must do an incredible job. I couldn't imagine spending that much unless it was the greatest haircut of all time. Number 9. A Day with Guy Fieri Everybody has a favorite celebrity or TV personality that they would love to meet in person one day. Maybe it's that movie star you really like or that actor on your favorite sitcom. But would you shell out six figures to spend a day with your celebrity hero? Here's a guy that would. Hedge fund billionaire Stephen Cohen is well known for his extravagant spending on the most eccentric things. With an estimated net worth of $14.2 billion, he can afford to burn through some cash and do whatever his heart desires. And that's exactly what he did when he paid $100,000 to hang out with Food Network star Guy Fieri. Cohen has always been obsessed with the famous chef and his popular television show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, which airs on the Food Network every other Friday. Turns out, Cohen paid Guy Fieri $100,000 to drive around Connecticut, reenact an episode of the show, and chow down on New York-style hot dogs from his favorite spot. Number 8. Dog Mansion Dogs are truly a man's best friend. Everybody loves them, and they make amazing companions for adults and children alike. Most people would do anything to give their dog an amazing life filled with treats and toys and games of fetch. Rich people are known to give their pets the celebrity treatment and give them designer collars and the fanciest dog food money can buy. But some billionaires take it way too far. Hotel heiress and reality TV star Paris Hilton is one of those people. She's very well known for always toting around her pets and buying them expensive things. But this one takes the cake. Paris Hilton's eight dogs live in a two-story mansion on her property in Los Angeles that is worth $325,000. It is totally decked out with fancy furniture, air conditioning, heating, a staircase, and a chandelier. Not only that, but each dog has a hairdresser with customized dog clothes inside of them. She regularly features the doggy mansion on her social media accounts and makes sure to remind us all that her pups live in a house big enough for an entire family. Number 7. A Cabinet It's important to make sure the furniture you keep in your house is of high quality and good looking. You have to use and look at that stuff every single day. Instead of heading over to Ikea, Prince Hans Adam II of the small European country Liechtenstein decided to pay $36 million for one of the oldest and fanciest cabinets of all time. This Florentine ebony piece is called the Babington Cabinet, and she is a beauty. It is the most expensive piece of furniture ever sold and for very good reason, it seems. The solid wood cabinet is absolutely massive. It stands at 12 and a half feet tall and seven and a half feet wide. It is covered in all sorts of precious gemstones, such as amethyst, lapis lazuli, and quartz. Before this grand purchase, it was last sold for $16 million in 1990, the most expensive piece of furniture at that time. It still remains the priciest cabinet ever bought, and it looks like it will remain that way. Number six diamond-covered iPhone. 
Smartphones are now one of the cheapest and most used forms of technology to come out within the past 10 to 15 years. Almost everybody in the world has one in their pocket, and they usually don't break the bank, retailing anywhere from $100 to $1,000. However, this $15 million iPhone 5, made by British designer Stuart Hughes, is one massive exception. A wealthy Chinese businessman from Hong Kong asked Hughes to make him a phone worthy of holding a family heirloom, a rare 26-carat black diamond worth about $14 million. The phone is covered in solid gold, has hundreds upon hundreds of white diamonds decorating the sides, and the Apple logo on the back is made up of about 50 diamonds. The famous black diamond is the star of the show, adorned on the home button. But wait, if $15 million is too much for you, Stuart Hughes also makes a solid gold iPhone worth about $4,000. Whew, no thanks. And also, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to slap a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Number 5. A Journal Leonardo da Vinci goes down in history as being one of the most influential mathematical genius who changed the world forever. Who wouldn't love to see his genius at work in his very own journal that he himself wrote in so long ago? Well, Bill Gates put his money where his mouth is on that one and purchased da Vinci's journal in 1994 for a whopping $31 million. With an estimated net worth of over $100 billion, the massive purchase barely put a dent in Gates' wealth. The journal is hundreds of years old, dating back to the 16th century and about 72 pages long. The contents of the journal are fascinating. It is filled with scribbled notes, master polymaths diagrams, drawings, and all sorts of ideas for future inventions da Vinci never got around to making. Bill Gates, being a mathematical genius himself, probably got a kick out of owning this small piece of history. Number 4. A Yacht Boats are not usually considered a luxury to own. However, even the smallest of boats can end up costing thousands of dollars in a lifetime. Most people can't even afford to go on a cruise for a summer vacation, but not billionaire Roman Abramovich. Abramovich is an Israeli-Russian businessman and politician with a net worth of over $11 billion. In 2010, he made headlines when he purchased the largest private yacht in the world, the Eclipse Superyacht. It cost him approximately $500 million and apparently costs even more to fuel and dock. He reportedly spends up to $65 million a year to maintain this superyacht. From fuel, to staff, to docking, and so on. The Eclipse is over 500 feet long, can hold over 100 guests and crew members, has 6,000 square feet of livable space, and 11 rooms and suites, has a helicopter, landing pad, and a three-person submarine for emergencies. Number 3. A Signature Prince Hamad is a member of the United Arab Emirates royal family, and as such, is one of the richest people on this list. Being royalty can get you anything your heart desires, but in some cases, maybe it shouldn't. Hamad owns his own island in the Persian Gulf, but apparently, he wanted everybody to know that he owned it. So what did he do? In 2009, the Arabian prince paid an undisclosed amount to have a team of workers carve his name, Hamad, on the sandy surface of this island. This is no small task. The letters of his name are in total two miles in length and a half mile tall. The letters are so gigantic, in fact, that satellites are able to read his name from outer space. Not only that, but the etchings were so deep that they created their own waterways and bodies of waters in the letters. Although the price of this grand signature is unknown, it is fair to assume the price tag on this was in the millions. Number 2. A Personal Skyscraper Most of us would be satisfied simply living in an apartment inside of a skyscraper, but not Indian businessman and billionaire Mukesh Ambani. As the chairman, managing director, and largest shareholder of India's most valuable company, his net worth is almost $50 billion. Ambani started building his dream home, a massive skyscraper, in 2006. He gave this building the name Antilia, after a mythical island. Antilia finished construction in early 2010 and has 27 floors. The entire thing cost Ambani around $2 billion and holds the title as the most expensive private home in the world. Antilia is located in Mumbai, India. Number 1. The Golden Toilet now, this is a weird one. Italian artist Maurizio Catilan created an art installation called America, which is a solid 18-karat gold toilet valued at $6 million. The toilet was originally made in 2016 and first installed in the bathroom of an art museum in New York City, where patrons could come to use the fully functional masterpiece. According to the museum, over 100,000 visitors came to use America when it was first installed. 
The story of this golden toilet is quite the humorous one, however. It unfortunately has a tragic ending. In 2019, America was moved to Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire, England, where it was stolen. The whereabouts of this solid gold toilet are currently unknown, and there have been no arrests. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss a video from us. Check out this playlist of our videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.